Juan, you got a uh, you got a fun little different segment for us here, don't you? I do. Yeah. So we're all music nerds. We uh, we follow a lot of news sites: Absolute Punk, Loudwire, Consequence of Sound, Lamb Goat, all that stuff. We follow those. We keep a pulse on what's going on. But we also love uh, the like the sites like The Onion and Hard Times. So if you're not familiar with Hard Times, it's basically the music version of of uh, The Onion. So it's satirical headlines that you know they kind of blur the line of this could be real versus this is obviously satire. So what I was thinking, and actually, I kind of thought of this back when we had our 44 guest on, Toby McAllister. He had that pop punk rocker looking for long lost guitar he sold at portland denny's for cigarettes it read that's an actual article headline it read like a hard times article so it got me thinking the wheels spinning and i saw a headline i don't know last night or a couple days ago that blurred that same line and i was like all right we're gonna have some fun with this so what i did is i picked about a dozen headlines that i have not told nate or tony about and they're gonna have to guess is this a hard times uh, headline, or is this an actual music headline from a music publication? I like it. I'm in. You guys, I'm down. Yeah, let's you go. guys are ready for this? All oh, right, I so, can't wait. <laughs> all right, so that first one, pop punk rocker looking for long lost guitar. He sold at Portland Denny's parking lot for cigarettes. It's obvious. That, that's real. That one's real. That's real. So we yes. know that one. <laughs> all right, the first one. Folk punk band asks neighbor banging broom on ceiling to join group. I like the Lumineers. I'm going to go false on that one. <laughs> yeah. I think mouth. this is true. I think it's true. That is a hard times headline. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. That is fake. <laughs> that one feels like it could be real though. Right. Oh, totally. Absolutely. Um, all right, next one. Axel Rose arrives hours late to home live stream concert. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, what do you think? Um I think it's false, but I think it's very viable if he, they were to, you know, do that kind of engagement. <laughs> so it's basically true. Yeah, I mean, I, I would Nate. This is false, but it <laughs> definitely could happen. <laughs> you are both correct. That is a hard times headline. That's a hard times headline. So that that's funny because Nate, remember when we had tickets to see Guns N' Roses in Portland, and then we were at dinner and. <laughs> We just heard that it was off because Axel couldn't drink on stage. And he was like, sorry, we're not going to play. Oh, my God. That is a true story. That is a real headline. That, that is happened. a true story. Yeah. Yeah, that is a true story. 30 minutes before the show started, too. So it was like last, last minute. Yeah, we were out getting dinner, getting ready to go to the, the see Guns N' Roses in Portland at the Civic Center. And we got word because we had connections with friends, the radio stations. And they were like, yeah, no, uh, Axel can't drink on stage. So he says that we're not going to play. Wow, That's crazy! You make. I mean, I he was, he always. They actually uh, obviously traveled there too, right? They. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. What a joke. Yeah. All right. The next one. Saliva re-record every six seconds with current vocalist for twentieth anniversary CD. True. I think that's true. I was gonna go true as well on that one. Yeah. That is an actual headline. <laughs> that nice. is a true headline. <laughs> that is from Loudwire. So they, yeah, they just had a, the 20th anniversary on that, didn't they? I think our friends at the, the New Metal Reddit did a um, either an AMA or something with somebody from the band this past weekend. And yeah, that's, the, I didn't realize uh, Josie Scott's not with them anymore. Right, yeah. That's a, <laughs> that's a good point. How do you re-record those, those classic songs like Click, Click, Boom? Yeah, and Josie Scott, is, why is Josie Scott like more of a name brand than Saliva? You know, it's always a weird question. <laughs> That, I think so. it's the uh, the hero song with Kroger. Yeah, Chad with Kroger. Kroger. Yeah, yeah. Which, which honestly, that Spider Man, it's a Spider Man uh, soundtrack song. That's a great song. I don't care what anybody says. I love that song. Yeah, no, I like it. I'm ashamed to say. I'm not. <laughs> I'm wearing it on my sleeve. <laughs> All right, next one. Allison Chain's cat go goes viral. Hmm. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Allison Chain's cat. Uh, that's false. That's false. Yeah, I don't know. False. That is an actual headline. What happened? I what? have no idea. It's from Loudwire. <laughs> Allison Chain's cat goes viral. Mm. Mm. It was it was so broad. I was like, is this a trick question? Like, what's going on here? Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Next one. Uh, Let me kill Mister's ashes were put into bullets and sent to his closest friends. <laughs> that is fake. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go fake on that one too. 
and that is an actual headline. No way. That's awesome. <laughs> Should have known better. <laughs> Lemmy. We've got some cool Lemmy stories in our back catalog if you guys want to hear them. I think Ian Robinson had one. And I think Greg, I think Greg from Zebrahead on our first episode with him had one. So episodes nine and 27, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Confirmed. I have no idea. I trust you. Plus, internally for nerd for nerd purposes, I sent you guys that picture of me at the uh, Rainbow Bar and Grill in West Hollywood. Yes. 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 Cheer, cheersing to like, I guess he was there every day just pounding Jack Daniels. Um, so if you want to meet Lemmy, you just go to Rainbow Bar and Grill in, Holly, in uh, West Hollywood back in the day before he passed away. Did you get it? Did you get a bullet, Nate? That's the question. Did he give you a bullet? I didn't get a bullet. You know who did is uh, Bonnaroo headliner. Foo Fighters, Dave Grohl is good friends with that guy. I believe, I believe that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next one. Jack White files tax return on vinyl. <laughs> uh, we talked about Jack White last week, and this is something he would do, but I think it's fake. It's fake, but that's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> that is a hard times headline. You guys are correct on that one. <laughs> He would do that, though. He absolutely would do that. <laughs> he might have tried. There might be some, yeah. <laughs> it might be valid. truth to that one, yeah. It's just illegal, so he couldn't actually succeed, yeah. This isn't a 1099. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. This a doesn't insert into whatever, the, yeah. the computer doesn't read these grooves. The hidden song is his, like, off-book off <laughs> earnings. <laughs> All right, next one. Papa Roach's next album will feature their first acoustic ballad. Part of me thinks this true is true. That. Yeah, yeah. It is true. It's true. <laughs> Whoa. They haven't done this already? Right, right. <laughs> That's the question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is pandemic stuff. They're like, eh, we could try this. Let's just try this. Fuck it. I love it. <laughs> Got a few more here. Uh, opening band covers headliner's entire set. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's false, but I love the idea. I'm going to go false. Yeah, yeah. That um, is a hard times fake headline. So this reminds me of when we've talked about this on the pod before. When Nate and I saw Beck. Uh, Tom, were you at that show at no. the State Theater? Nate and I saw Beck with uh, with Rob, our episode 17 guest, at the State Theater. And Beck, he played an acoustic set and opened for himself. <laughs> so he he would have done this, would have played the, the opener's set or the, the headliner's set because it was his music. So, so if I said Beck covers entire headliners, entire set, you would have guessed true. I would have said that actually happened, although it could also be a hard time. I mean, that, that would have been perfect. Talk about blur and lines. I've seen it. I got a story like that, too, actually, uh, rewinding back to the Foo Fighters. Uh, hangout festival in Alabama. Gnarls Barkley, his tour bus broke down or something, so he couldn't make it to the stage. So Foo Fighters was a headliner. But because Gnarls Barkley didn't make it, uh, Foo Fighters replaced their set and they started playing some of their songs and they ended up playing a bunch of cover songs, but they didn't play any Foo Fighters songs. They just played really Gnarls Bar- yeah, Gnarls Barkley songs and then they started playing cool. like random random classic rock songs. So I actually did semi see something like that happen. Is, just it was crazy. Like they just is came that out. Is that how the, like, the darling Nikki cover happened? I think so because they actually played that yeah. in that set. Yeah, Hangout Festival 2011. You guys can look it up. Tangent on the tangent. Uh, Dave yeah. Grohl, Foo Fighters have covered Darling Nikki by Prince. So has Atmosphere, which is kind of fun. So wow. go check those. Oh, out. nice. Yeah. Is that a yep, Hard go. Times headline? It's Darling Lucy, yeah. I think, for Atmosphere, but very similar. All right. Just got a few more here. Spotify CEO gets 0.0005% custody of children. <laughs> <laughs> Loud and clear. I think it's 0.003 or whatever, right? Isn't that what it's supposed to be? He's getting extra. <laughs> no kidding. That's fake. That's fake, but that's that's amazing. That's perfect. Classic. Yeah, it's a perfect headline. <laughs> yeah, that was an obvious hard times headline, but it was too good not to. Yeah, yeah. Not to do the next one here. Travis Barker's daughter covers his face tattoos with makeup. I think that's true. Yeah, I can go true on that one. I think that's a real headline from from Loudwire. <laughs> Wow. I didn't know he had face tattoos. I guess I probably did, but didn't think about it. Yeah, he's like covered head to toe pretty much now. A couple more here. Uh, Kenny Wayne Shepard Blues Award nomination revoked for use of Confederate flag. I actually know the answer mm. to this, so Nate, go ahead. I'm going to go false. 
That is true. That is that true. Happened. That happened. Oh, really? Yes. Damn. Yeah, a couple days ago, last week, maybe. Damn, that sucks. I didn't know that. And actually, I've seen him a few times and like like his music, but that's not cool. Yeah. Yeah. We won't get too political. We'll leave it there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Move on. Carry on. That was good. Is that all you have to I get, I get two more quick headers Ooh, here. Ooh, nice. Nice. Uh, Sweet. Greta Van Fleet's new song is their most epic yet. <laughs> That's <laughs> tr- true, and it, it should say Greta Van Fleet's new cover of Led Zeppelin is their most epic yet. But yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> is the most epic Led Zeppelin song? Yeah, yeah. That is true, and we're gonna close it out with this one: The Strokes frontman dismisses blues rock. Please, no more, he says. Julian I'm gonna go true on this one. Right? That's true. Yeah, that is true. true. So you guys, are, you guys are very good. I mean, you, you probably read enough Hard Times articles to. <laughs> to know where the lines blurred, but I think we I tripped you up on the Papa Roach one, right? Maybe or the Lemmy there's one. There's a couple yeah, back one. there, yeah, yep, yeah. Lemmy, no, I, uh, yeah, I, uh, that, that's and that's cool. I wish I got one of those. That's that's badass. <laughs> the bullet. No, I want a bullet. Yeah, I think we're even if we haven't re- read them, we're just like kind of we got the nerd Spidey sense going on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was fun. <laughs> I, I can't wait to do that again, actually, because it does it like triggers stories. It triggers all this stuff. So. Uh, I enjoyed that. Good, good call to one. Things are just so ridiculous that like they're so probable, you know, like those will, uh, some of those headlines will actually become true. Unfortunately. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Axel Rose. Yeah. 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 <laughs>